what a difference a day makes. On Saturday, March the 5th, it was so dry and it was almost 80 degrees and the wind was blowing 45 miles an hour. And then yesterday, on March the 6th, snow came in. And we are so glad that we had the chance to have some snow. It's already starting to melt, which is just fine by us because that means the moisture will go down into the ground. The horses have been limited to sacrifice, but out there on the hill is brome for them. Oh my goodness sakes. It is cold today though. Again, almost 80 degrees on Saturday. And I think the high so far today has been about 29. Ugh. Mother Nature's having a hard time making up her mind. So the horses get a chance to come out. Play in the snow. Think any one of them will find a, a sled to play on? No, I don't think so. But they'll be able to get out and enjoy. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, a little slip and fall. Yeah. A little slip and fall. Slip and recover probably is a better way of putting it. Slip and recover. The original four wheel drive vehicles right out here in front of you. Four feet that are always engaged. They're always in drive. So they stand a much better chance of maintaining their stability than you or I as bipeds. For those of you that don't know, they're quadrupeds. Again, four legs, four feet. All of them engaged and able to be functional at all times. So they get to go out tonight. It's gonna be cold, chilly. It is gonna be colder and chillier later this week, but we're gonna have a better day tomorrow and everything should end up melting and then an even better day the next day before we go back into the deep freeze for a couple of days. But if we're real lucky, this may be our last cold snap of the year. We hope so. But isn't it pretty seeing them out there? So it'd be quiet, put a little music on and let you guys just enjoy.